I don't believe in aliens, bro. Like, until you can show me a fucking alien, that's what I believe in. That's when they're going to come. Down. Well, let's keep it real. The government has already said UFOs are real. Show me an alien, bro. Nope. The government has already released that bro, the UFOs are real. And this is how I end that. Show me an alien. That's all I say. What do you think Area 51 is? Just show me an alien, bro. We don't know what they look like. But they, the government has what? said UFOs are real. Show me one. A UFO? Show me one. How do we know who's flying it, bro? What about if it's just us from the future? Show me one, bro. I watched a whole little YouTube thing with it. Oh, uh, let's see. Someone said I'm house phone's dad. <laughs> what? I don't even know. This is 60 minutes. 60 minute reports. No, they have a picture. I just want to see a picture of an alien, bro. Nope. Like, for aliens to be around all this time, it's not... UFOs are very real. 60 Minutes reports, they're still unidentified, and they aren't American. How you know they're not American, bro? That shit is crazy. Yo, Snoop's face on that article is Look. Amazing. We have tackled many strange stories. This on is 60 Minutes, minutes bro. But perhaps none Show like me a picture, this. bro. It's the story of the U.S. government's grudging acknowledgement of unidentified aerial phenomena. UAP Look. scientists, electro-optical engineers, avionics and intelligence experts, often working part-time. They combed through data and records and analyzed videos like this. Is, this. Look, you're going to see that this is real, how it moves. A Navy air crew struggles to lock on to a fast-moving object off the U.S. Atlantic coast in 2015. <laughs> Recently released images may not That's convince alien? UFO skeptics, yeah. but the Pentagon admits Look. it doesn't know what in the world this is. Or this. See how it's moving? This. Look. Look. What do you think it is? Grizzly divide <clears throat> and Nigga. Headed to the All right, stop it, stop it. Wait. It's Matthew. Okay, look, right, this is my question. No, 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 let me tell you something. Before you, before you finish. Exist. Oh, no. How can we be the only living things in the whole universe? <laughs> if not, then it's a simulation and that's scarier. Hey, man, this could be deep. deep. This conversation could get deep. No, 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 no. Okay, look, look, look. Peep this, right? So, people said, oh, it could be this and this and this. I watched that shit. The way it was moving, they said that there's no aircraft... There's no way an aircraft can move the way that that was, shit was moving. Like, there's nothing that somebody can build to make it move the way that it moves. So, my question is now, what do you think was inside of it? An alien. Why would an alien <laughs> fly a UFO <laughs> if they know that we know there's UFOs? So, you think it was like a, a little green guy inside of there flying? I'm not going to say it's a little green guy, but I think that, uh, me personally, I think aliens have been here a long time. I think they could possibly be walking amongst us or they can be helping us with technology. Oh, wow. Come on, bro. Like, Elon Musk may be an alien. Oh, my. He might be. Bro, think about it. Mm -hmm. Think I mean, about I, it. I just never saw one, that's all. No, I'm just saying, let's keep it real. There are certain individuals, bro, where their minds are just so advanced. Like, do you see the type of things that Elon Musk is, like, making? Like, they're making a fucking bullet train right now that's supposed to take you from, uh, from L.A. to Vegas Where is this in, conversation in, going? in 30 minutes. Where's this going? Are you, saying, he, like are you saying he's an alien? I don't know. I'm just saying. Maybe <laughs> maybe he can... Maybe they aliens giving us technology. There's all type of shit. I don't know no, about man. people who are really good at things. Like, are they aliens like LeBron James? Nah, he ain't no alien. Uh, I just... I, I, I don't just, think the aliens want to ship sports. I just want to see, like... Because, you know, like, TV and all this shit has made us think that aliens look like little yeah. green slimy Why, things and all that. And it's like... When they say a UFO is in the sky, is that what we supposed to think is inside of that UFO? Okay, so, okay, how about this, right? Like, this shit is, too, I, that's all I'm asking. Hear bro. me out, hear me out, hear me out. They stream it inside their the shit. government has acknowledged that they are UFOs. Right. You think they caught one before? Bro, if the government, this is the government, if they're saying, they, saying, they, they, they released, they released the, what's it called, the JFK files, and they said that, nigga, they, they're acknowledging that they are unidentified fucking objects in the sky that they cannot explain. So what do you have to say about that? Did they catch one? I'm asking you. I don't know. Did they catch one? I don't know. I wonder if they caught one. Word what if they've been like... What do you think's in Area 51? I don't, I don't they, know. Why, did, why, why will they shoot you down if you get too close? I don't know. Is that a fact? Huh? Is that a fact? They shoot Let's you see. 
Is Area 51 still around? Is that still in, like, out yes. there? Yes. Still to this day? Yes. Oh, you know what? I saw something with, like, some people uh, doing his wife tried to, like, drive up to it or some shit. And what happened? And, like, these people pulled up in the car, like, on their ass. They get the fade. Remember when that, remember when that shit happened, um... It was a trend when everybody was talking about they gonna run to Area Fifty One. Yeah, and the aliens. It, it was like a couple that went and did a, some shit on YouTube. Yeah. There. Huh. I was about to go. Then I was Wasn't they gonna go. like bomb rush that shit? Like try to like yeah, bomb rush? Yeah, it's gonna fuck it. They said they gonna Naruto run. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A man was shot dead after attempting to enter Area Fifty One. Damn. Look, restricted area. No trespassing beyond this point. What yeah. is, what is what is what do you think is in there? It says, listen. Under unidentified male failed to stop at the Nevada National Security Site. The protective force officers, blah, 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 took a pursuit. After driving approximately eight miles past security gate, the individual came to a stop, exited his car, and approached the SBOs with the object in hand. The suspect refused to adhere to verbal commands of both, blah, 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 blah. When the suspect approached the officers, he was fired upon. The suspect died at the scene. There were no injuries to the forces. Wow. The FBI has been notified. Were this is... That's crazy. I mean, shit. What do you think is in there? In Area 51? Yeah. Nigga, motherfucking aliens helping. Mm -hmm. Making, giving us technology. How I tell you what. <laughs> I tell you what. Aliens made FaceTime. I'm going to say it. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, nah, hey, there it is. Aliens made FaceTime. Aliens made FaceTime? They would, uh, Why? What inspired them? Yeah, what you think? I don't know. I just think they would make FaceTime. Are they making the PS5s? Because them shits... <laughs> they probably got the PS7 they, right now. They're taking a long oh time my. to make them motherfuckers. <laughs> they got the PS7 just sitting up in there. Area no, just... just Okay, look. Just think about it, right? Let's think... Okay. Let's, let's, let's keep it real. Let's break it. Let's let's bring it back all the way to... Okay. All the, all the inventions that we have. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That we feel is normal. Mm -hmm. And they say... Who react thought to Bob, about this shit? They say react to Bob Le Lazar. Who's Bob Lazar? Type it in B O B L A Z A R. They're trying to get us in the conspiracy algorithm. Bob Lazar, Area 51. Area 51. All right, chat. I see y'all. We're going to react to it. Do you see it? You found it? Yep. Let's go. 30 years ago today, K aired a live interview with an anonymous man who made some really astonishing claims. He alleged that the U.S. military was secretly studying alien technology out in the Nevada desert near a base that mm. is now very well known all over the world, Area 51. A lot has changed in the decades since Bob Lazar first told this wild story. The Pentagon recently admitted that it really has been secretly studying UFOs and then it wanted to figure out and duplicate that technology. George Knapp looks back at that 1989 interview that started a whole new conversation. It's totally impossible. Uh, the propulsion system is an, uh, a gravity propulsion system. The power source is an antimatter reactor. Uh, this technology does not exist at all. The claim sounded like Hollywood sci-fi. Months later, when his identity was revealed, Bob Lazar said he was... That nigga's an alien. Wow. Oh. He's like an alien, right? Oh. Yeah. He's an alien. Let's just say that right there. What year is this? At a secret facility near Groom Lake. 1989. Technology mm, okay, okay. was being reverse engineered. That is, taken apart to figure out how it worked and oh. whether the Pentagon could duplicate it. This is the simple drawing he made at the time. Here now I had mm -hmm. access and was Yo. permitted Bro. to view and you know the operation. Nigga, no. So spaceships look like that? Bro, yes. That's what they, yeah. Bro, that's what they, Bro, you're going to see footage of this shit. Oh. This main level with the gravity amplifiers and the level below. The premise seems less preposterous now. In a new Quinlow said a Joe Rogan clip. He just okay. What's a Joe Rogan? Okay, man, listen here. I know, man. You trying to feed me shit right now? <laughs> this one? I tell you, it's chocolate. Yeah, that's out. Which one, Quinlow? It's a Joe Budden clip. Which one should I clip on? Which one, Quinlow? This first one. The second one. He said the second one. The Joe Rogan experience. 
I first heard your story decades ago. I've, uh, I told you last night when we went out to dinner. I've seen pretty much every interview you've ever given. I've followed the story incredibly closely. Mm -hmm. But for people who don't know the story, let's give them the bullet points. You used to work at Area 51. And Area 51, you, God, you, you went like, huh? Well, you know, we want to be accurate. Okay. Area S4. That nigga's an alien. S4. <laughs> okay. It's about 15 miles south of Area 51. Okay. But, um, you worked in what would you, how would you describe it? Uh, I, I guess within the Area 51 compound, you can call that a subset of Area 51. And you got that job. Before that, you were working. Before that, I had worked at Los Alamos right. National Labs in New Mexico. And you were involved in what kind of work? There? Nuclear weapon development, physics. I mean, that's they, they do everything there. So how do they approach you to say, hey, Bob, why don't you come on out to the Nevada desert? Well, the way this went down was... Um, that nigga's an alien. Uh, <laughs> at that time, it was 1982. Yeah, they said one point. I, um, speed it up, let's see. I put... He talks like AI, like he's a... Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, ho, ho. <laughs> uh, a jet engine in my, my Honda. And Los Alamos put it on the front page of the paper. He said, you know, uh, Los Alamos man, physicist at the lab, you know, built this 200 mile an hour you know, Honda jet car that I, I drove to work every day. <laughs> so uh, so I, was, I was known in Los Alamos, the guy with the weird car, and, you know, you could hear it from, you know, a mile away. Anyway... The day that came out on the front page of the paper was the day Edward Teller, the father of the hydrogen bomb, was giving a lecture down there at the lab. And we didn't have much going on that day in our group, and I asked if I could go down there. And um, I went down there early, and Ed Teller was outside, leaning on a brick wall there and reading the front page of the paper. Now, this is a guy out of history, so I introduced myself. Hey, I'm the guy you're reading about there. And we talked for a little while, and it was cool. Uh, you know, fast forward to years later, I had moved out to Las Vegas and had, you know, left Los Alamos and, you know, went on to other things. And I that nigga's an alien. wanted uh. to get back into the scientific community. You know, I left to start other businesses and and that sort of thing. So I sent resumes out and one of them went out to Ed Teller and referenced our meeting, you know, back back in that, the day. And uh, anyway, he remembered me and gave me a reference, somebody to contact at EGNG. And that's pretty much how it started. So you get a phone call or a letter? Like, what do you get? Well, I got a, what did I get? I got a letter initially and um, went down for an interview probably a couple times. And it was down at uh, EG&G Special Projects, which was um, at McCarran Airport at that time out in Las Vegas. And did they give you any sort of job description of what you were applying for? Um, they said it was for, ad I can't remember exactly what they did. This was a long time ago, but I, I think it was... Um, advanced propulsion or something like that, something relatively generic. And they said, it's in a remote area. Um, you know, it's going to be some days on, some days off. And, um, you know, it was kind of a, it, it was kind of uh, not exactly a full-time job, but you that nigga's an alien. might have to be out there for two weeks at a time and take two weeks off. So it was kind of a, the work schedule would be kind of broken up. And did this seem attractive to you or did it seem weird? How no, it? it really wasn't weird because people that work at the test site, anybody that's familiar with the area up there, um, you know, working at the nuclear test site uh, or at the Tonopah test range north of there, uh, that's typically how things go. So you had known about it from the scientific community? Because the Area 51 at that time was No, they didn't still say anything about Area 51. Okay, so they, they just, just said it was in a, you know, in a remote location and you just know it was up at the test site. Right. So, but there was no mention of Area 51 at that time. So they've done <laughs> hundreds of nuclear tests in Nevada, Nevada, that, that whole area was, shit. there's been, there's giant chunks of Nevada that people. Yeah, there's a big piece of Nevada and it's split up into different areas. There's a nuclear test site. There's area 51. There's the Tonopah test range north of that. There's little sub areas. There's areas where they test chemical weapons and things like that. So it's all broken up as a, you know, gigantic test area. So take me back to first day on the job. You accept the job. They take you out there. Yeah. It's, um, the first day, really, I didn't really get to see a whole lot. The first day was essentially just paperwork. That's when I flew into Area 51 proper. And I left uh, McCarran Airport and flew what they call the Janet flights. Just, um, you know, a passenger plane from Las Vegas to Area 51. And it was really just going through a mountain of paperwork that day. Uh, from security clearances to... Uh, Why the fuck y'all have us watch this shit? Awesome. His alien ass didn't say nothing. Yeah, that was some bullshit. 
That was some bullshit. He fluffed us. But I seen somebody in the chat say something, right? I saw something too. They said Compound V is real. Oh shit! I which that. sparked I that. which sparked up a a, a a a conversation I wanted to have. If you can have any superpower, what would the superpower be? I want to be able to teleport, bro. Teleport. Teleport would be where? Fire. Because I can go wherever the hell I need to go. Teleport would be fire. Did you see the movie Jumper? Yeah, yeah, Jumper was hard. That's basically what Jumper was. Oh. Teleporting is fire. Teleporting. Like he'll look at a bank and he'll he'll just he'll think of a bank. He just jump right in the bank. He robbing shit. Yep. No, you're not making a big spectacle. I want I want Strange. laser eyes, cause like Cyclops. Laser man. eyes for what? Like, like laser? Cyclops. So when I get mad at motherfuckers, cause I can. You just gonna kill them. people? Yeah. Bro, if I'm gonna be, I gotta be a villain or something. Laser eyes. Laser eyes, like Cyclops. Bro, Cyclops was doing a good job with those laser eyes. He wasn't killing people. He was helping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if it goes down though, he will. Fly. No, I would want to fly. That nigga wear them shades, and then we pull them up. Yeah. I would, I would want to fly. But, hey, do you think about fly? Flying, that's flying, that's fly. basic. That's basic. Think bro. About that's not basic. Just fly. That's it. You want to fly? You know, bro. Imagine, bro. What's cooler than flying, bro? Bro, right? imagine you go to the teleport. Imagine you go to the club, right? Teleport is fire. You go to the club. You talking to this bitch. You like come back, come back home with me. Go my back, bitch. Yeah, and, but hey, <laughs> you hold her hand and you just be like, yeah, we out. Oh, somebody made a good one. invisibility. Invisible. I wouldn't want to be invisible. Nah, that would be kind of hard. I get it, but no. Nah. Yeah, if you if you're a fucking creep, I want laser eyes. Yeah, exactly. You a creep if you just want to be invisible. I want laser eyes. What you want to do? I don't want people to see me. Yeah, no, you were like this. Teleport is fire, though. Let's go to Susie's room and see what see her <laughs> yeah. undress. Nah, nigga. Fuck that invisibility Teleporting shit. Teleporting would be my number one answer, but you said uh, it, but bro. that shit is fire. Teleporting? Yeah, that's fine, bro. Teleporting Where would fire. you teleport? Everywhere, bro. Yeah, wherever. Pull if there's like no line. limit no limit to my teleporting, oh my God. I would go everywhere. Oh. You can teleport to Area 51. And like, imagine like, bro, I want to see what it's like, what these bagels taste like in France. Oh yeah, it, just, it had to be food with you, huh? I'm no, I'm just saying. <laughs> you gonna go to? <laughs> no, I know you like bagels. I know bro. you. You gonna go to every hometown buffet? <laughs> <laughs> teleport, teleport to every hometown buffet <laughs> and try it all. Uh, Man, that hometown uh, in De Delaware is the best. I wonder what these bagels oh, taste like. 